Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you all the chest location for the new area they added in the 4.2, the Ariness Forest and the Mortar region. So with this two and new area, um, I already covered all the new four chests they added which were counted in the previous area, so were counted in the old uh, achievement section. You can check that other guide for them. By the way, for the 4.2 area, I will need to complete the pre-requirements listed in the description or in the pinned comment, so remember to complete all the world quests and um, big puzzles first to unlock places. And once you completed all the pre-requirements and took the pre-requirement chests, you should have in your achievement, just like me, 27 chests on 40. So 27 chests are the one um, took in the pre-requirements, so in this video we're gonna start from the 28th one. The first route will be this one at the top side, so just teleport to this teleport waypoint and we can start from there. Once you teleport here, go toward the north, uh, west, uh, southwest direction, sorry. Southwest direction, you will find a hillature camp. So, what you have to do is to kill all the hillitures here. So, let's just go. After you kill them, you can finally get this first chest, which is an exquisite one. So let's take it. After you took that one, just turn your left side, you will find that small puzzle downside there. Not this one below the tree, because this one you have to do it in order. So take this one first in front of you. So just come here. This is counted as a time trial challenge, so take the power up and just hit this ball. By doing this, you will create this path. Just remember the location. like this and go here a common chest will spawn at the end once you get this common chest this hydro pillar moon mo uh, monument will spawn which will go to that location there okay at this point just hit the conch three times to make it open and destroy this rock here which will make uh, it rain in this small area and the rain will trigger them giving you the precious chest here Look at this pursuit chest, you have to go toward the south east direction, downside you will find a small hillture camp with some hillitures. So let's just uh, kill them really fast. And once you kill them, you can just uh, unlock this chest, really easy. Now, keep going uh, toward the east direction, you will find uh, this puzzle with the ball. So what you have to do is to interact with this machine, go here, watching toward the ring, Charge the ball and throw it. Okay, I, I, I should have charged it for longer. Until you can see the ball start to shake and then throw the ball. A common chest will spawn. Now, keep following the road going toward the north direction, you will find another hillitual camp. So let's just go. Once you kill, take this uh, common chest and go toward the northeast direction just to jump down here you will find this small puzzle to do with a lot of v-shapes around these v-shapes are friendly so even if you got close to them they will not attack you and the reason for this you should read the lore i mean you should already understand the lore but anyways just observe the machine you can see that we need to light up the two monuments in order so this one first and then that one how to do this take the power up from the uh, squid here push this bubble here toward that one and then just merge it to that other bubble to merge into a giant bubble now put the giant bubble closer to the number one closer to the number one and then make it explode so the shockwave will hit the number one first and then number two by doing this, you will get the exquisite chest here. Now, teleport to the Statue of the Seven here. And go toward the lake on bottom side here. Here you will find another of this puzzle with the V-shapes around, but don't worry about it. They are also friendly, you can observe here. And you have to light up one and two. You can just make it explode like normally. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Really simple. Look, and this one go toward the uh, uh, northeast direction, above here. You will find a protected chest. So just kill the enemies. To kill them, take the remarkable chest. 
Keep following this road. In front of you, you will find a trapped Sealy. So let's uh, save this. Sealy. Uh, Open. And guide the Sealy now. It is bugged. Huh? Why is it coming out? It is a bit bugged. So just wait a bit. It will probably fix soon. If it doesn't work, just go in a test run and then get out again. Okay. A bra? Um, I don't know what's going on here. But the city is not coming out. Okay, finally. Holy. It took so long. Yeah, and just follow it now. Here is the shrine. Take this common chest from the Sealy, and in front of you, you will find a time trial challenge. So let's go do it. And collect the hydro particles. Let's go. This is a joke. A really simple challenge. Exquisite chest. To get this chest, you have to climb a bit this mountain, going upstairs in front of you. And here we'll find this air current thingy. How to summon this one, you have to get a pyro character first, and an animal character also. And then light up this monument to make this air current disappear. Light up one torch. Now go to the other one. The monument is behind here, the tree. Okay, interact. Then torch this one as well. In the end, that one. This one you have to kill the slimes first, which will okay, make the monument unlock. Okay, then I light up. And in the end, take it. By doing this, you will summon um, an emo, an emo core, elemental core. What you have to do is just to kill it. Once you kill, the animal core will uh, run away, creating this uh, air current for you. Just fly up. Okay, and you will find that, uh, uh, how to say, this thing here. Interact with it, there is a mushroom, so get up, get up again, and fight this uh, enemy again. Once you kill, a chest will spawn, a precious chest. Took in this chest, just right, right below you, you will find a protected, remarkable chest. This time is protected by some slimes, so let's go and hit. Once you kill, you will get the chest, okay. And just keep going in front of you. You will find a shrine of death, so if you have the key, you can already open it now. But I always keep it for the last, uh, at the end, because uh, you can get one key from the Statue of the Seven and one key from the Fontaine, so you have to give sigils. And now we are collecting sages. Anyways, reaching this point, you will find a small uh, lake. What you have to do is to go downside first, interact with this uh, running thingy here, investigator. It will go there, to the shrine, which will uh, unlock the chest. Just like this. The water will go downside, and you can get this exquisite chest. We did the first small route we done, for 14 chests in total. In fact, if you check your achievement count, you should have 41 chests. 41 on 80, perfect. We'll take a bit of rest, and we continue with the next route now. Well, uh, this is the next route, and we're going to start from uh, the center of the seven. So once you teleport here, you have to go toward the southeast direction. In front of you, you will see a protected chest below a tree. So just uh, approach and kill the enemies to get it. Oh, no. 
really simple chest. Look at okay, this one. Uh, on Keep God Ward. Uh, East direction. Here above the rock, you will find a sealed chest. How to get this one? You have to use the Pneuna. I mean, to the Ozia to change this Pneuna to Red. So just climb this mountain a bit. Uh, this uh, this uh, tree a bit. To get it. Okay. If you have bow character, it will be easier. This. Then just wait it to respawn. Take it again, and this time we light up this other one. This it is, the chest will be unlocked. If you watch at the south direction, you will find a protect uh, a potential challenge. Just to go there and do it. Really simple one, just uh, go inside the jellyfish, which will beat you to the sky. Get to this tree, and in the end, the last tree. So, get inside of this jellyfish here. Here we go. Chest will spawn uh, close to the road. Now, take it. And uh, watching toward the northeast, uh, go a bit here, you will find uh, a lake full of mud. So, just to take the power up from uh, this uh, thingy and kill. Uh, okay, that's a rock. And it's pretty hard because uh, they will run away. And you must stay inside the water. Okay, one is dead. It's not coming here, so let's go to him. Okay. Nice. Once you kill this two, the water will be purified. You can go inside the lake. Get the power up from this fish. And you have to cut these wines here together. So wait a moment like this. You cut it. This thingy will go above the sky. Okay, just like this. And you see above that rock, there is a ball. Take the power up again from the squid. And I have to throw this ball inside that circle. So watching toward the circle, you charge the ball. Maybe don't wait him to shake, but like this. Nice, perfect. Ah, prison chest will spawn. Nice. Keep go toward the north direction after this chest here. Above the mountain, you will find the next challenge we have to do. Actually, the next puzzle. This time is the puzzle of the bubble. You have to play with the instrument. This time is a bit hard because you need to hit it in mid-air. When it's going down. Around... Now! Yeah, this is really tricky. Okay. Once you took this one, you have to teleport to this teleport waypoint above the fountain of Lucina. And this time, just in front of you, you will find this special plant, right? Take the power up from. Uh, uh, where it is? Okay, below this tree. From the thing again. And just interact with it. With some of the road, just memorize it. Really simple, by the way. Okay, chest taken. Now, took this chest, go back close to this airship. Downside the airship, you will find a protected chest, so this time we have to take this one. Okay, and once you kill, you can finally get this chest here. Nice. At this point, you can take the Ozia block, go above the airship, and make it start to fly. If you don't see the airship here, means you've already been here, just interact with that small machine on bottom side to call the airship back, and then you can take it again. Anomaly detected, oh no! Bruh, well you must move the camera when I am running around. Call, recall the airship, and let's go again. Okay, this time be careful. Nice. Go up, and you have to kill this slime, so. Perfect. After kill, the airship will start to fly again, I mean keep a fly again.
anomaly detected. Let's go. Okay. Now just to go back to the ship. Some more will spawn on bottom side, just to kill them as well. Remarkable chest. At this point, you just have to jump down, or if you want, you can teleport back at this teleport waypoint and go take this chest at the south direction of it. So let's go. So the reaction down you will find this small puzzle. First of all, kill all these slimes. Rotating around this puzzle. If you kill the air current will disappear, take the power up here, stay in the orange circle and push the ball toward that circle. Like this. The ball will go there. Now to push it again. Like this. And the chest will spawn. Now, watching to keep following the road toward the left side, we'll find the next puzzle here. Take the power up. Use a Nemo character to light up this uh, this uh, monument. Okay. And the bubble will fly. Come here. Push a bit of the bubble toward that, that direction. Too much, too much, too much. A bit toward that side. Or no, no, should be fine. Yes. You basically make them sound at the same moment. Now, after this precious chest, going toward the south west direction, above the mountain, here, you will find the next. So remember to get the power up first. So keep the power up on you, and then you go to it. Play with it. With some on the road. Just remember the pet. And uh, here we go. Took this chest here, watching toward the east direction. Downside, you will find a protected chest by some enemies. So. so, heal them. And take this common chest. Now, teleport to this teleport waypoint here. Bottom side. And go toward the northeast. I'm on the protected chest this time by uh, uh, two slimes and a healer. Heal them and take it. Now, people go toward the southeast this time. Basically, just to follow the road going toward that uh, healer camp, you will find uh, a protected chest. Okay, this is like uh, this healer on the road. And then you have to deal with. This lava chair. Okay. Kill them and it looks like there's another one. Okay, kill them. Look at this one, keep go south direction and just go behind the house. Downside you will find the next puzzle which is a bubble puzzle. First of all, get the power up from the uh here behind the boat. Get the power up. And move this one toward the other one. You just form a giant bubble. Once you form the giant bubble, just make it explode. Nice. Now go inside the water, keep going toward the solid action. You will find this puzzle here. Basically, we have to light up using the energy block here. Uh, wait. Where, where, where you can take it? Uh, hold on, let me search. 
out there. The Ozia block. Take it. And light up that one. Then take it again. It's time to light this one up. Now we need the Pneuna block, which is inside here. Once we took the Pneuna block, light up this one below. And in the end, another one. Okay. The last one is a bit above. Right here. Once you do this, if you want, you can take this item up here, pick up, and put it to the cannon, so you can use the cannon for yourself. But remember to get the power-up from the octopus first. Yay, 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 yay. We'll get stuck here. Go up, go up, go up. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. You can just charge it. Nice. As you can see, now it's friendly. Anyways, uh, you will unlock this uh, chest here. And now, just to keep swim following this road, in front of you, you will find the ball, right? There's a ball. Get the power up from the octopus in front of it. Go to the ball. Just use the ball to make that rock. Uh, just destroy that rock using the ball. So, like this. Boom. Common chest. Now, teleport above to this teleport waypoint, to the foggy forest path. And go to war uh, go above this mountain behind. You will see a time trial challenge. Get the power up from the, uh, the octopus and start it. Complete uh, without uh, triggering the explosive barrel. So just uh, from here, watching toward that one, you charge it to the maximum, and you throw it. Then there. When you see the bullet is shaking, throw it. And uh, here. This time is moving, so let's charge it toward that direction. And throw it. Now. Nice. Uh, uh, x will chest, very simple. Now, go toward that uh, time trial challenge uh, above the lake. Is the place where we've been during the world quest. Uh, question machine, no. Question melusine and answering machine, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, anyways, just to start this challenge. You have to go down inside that uh, jellyfish. So when you reach around this point, you can get out uh, and go inside it. A one chest uh, will spawn in front of you. Nice. And with this one, we finished uh, with this uh, smaller route. If you check your achievement, you should have 60 chests. 60 on 80. Nice. Now take a rest and we continue later with the next one. This is the next route, and we're going to take 33 more chests. Starting from the foggy forest path. Once you teleport here, you have to go inside this cave you can see at the north direction. From the minimap, you will see a small road going inside. This is because this chest can only be taken from this, uh, uh, this side of the tunnel. Which is pretty bad, but let's just go. Once you reach at the end of the tunnel, you will see a small... Uh, a uh, small pool, just to go inside it and swim. And downside, you will find this fish. Take the power up from the fish, and in front of you, not to this ball, but in front of more, you can see these wines. What you have to do is to destroy all the four wines, five wines together. So just aim in the center and shoot it. The next one, now you have to teleport to this teleport waypoint and go inside this small tunnel you can see below the mountain there, at the northeast direction.
respect the teleport waypoint. So once you come here and just go, you can already see the cave from here. You will find some enemies, but just ignore them. Keep go deeper inside the tunnel. And just to swim down. Here we will find the enemy, so take the power up from the uh, crab and kill this enemy here. Which is the next chest. Okay, one is dead. Now let's kill the other one. Nice. Once you kill them, you will unlock the chest. Now just to take it. At this point, teleport to this teleport waypoint here, close out of the bottom side of the weeping willow of the lake. Here I need you to complete the world quest, the Wild Fairy of Fairy Ness. Basically, the one you can accept at the market station. Once you complete it, this place will become more beautiful, and the tree from yellow will become blue, but anyways. In the center of the small lake, you will find a protected chest, so let's just kill the Hydro... Hydro Bean. Once you kill them, you can take this chest here. And go on north, north this direction. These chests are the chests that the quest gave you, and I didn't took. So if you already took them, you can just skip them. If you didn't, let's collect them now. So one exquisite, one precious, and in the end, one common chest. You can also take the Mora chest. Also, once you take this chest, you will get the achievement, which means that you completed the world quest. After you took this tree, if you watch at the east direction, you will find something is swimming above the water, right? It's a silly, so just go and interact with it. Let's stay here and wait for him to come. Okay, investigate. Now just follow it. Which will go in the center. Of Q, investigate again, and then just to follow it, it will go to the shrine of the um to the silly shrine. Nice. After you took this chest here, next one is here at the west direction of the lake, and you will set a mutual challenge. Let's just go and start it. I have to open a chest within 3 minutes. Okay. Nice, a precious chest. Take it and you will fall into the water, so just to go downside. Actually, now you will fall on the ground. Now just go inside the water. Dive downside. This chest here, you probably already took it when you were doing the world quest, uh, the Wild Fairy of Eriness. But uh, if you didn't, just like me, let's go take it. Now, at this point, uh, you'll see from the minimap, uh, go toward uh, northeast direction, that uh, small bridge, uh, that uh, small road. So let's swim up, and let's go. Here we'll find uh, a small tunnel. Just to go inside the tunnel. And you will find uh, this type of uh, cannon. So just uh, kill the enemies first, so you can operate the cannon. Just uh, shoot it uh, without changing anything. Okay. And then summon the Wave Rider. Come to this place with the first torch and just use the Hydro Element to turn, off, turn it off. 
What you have to do here basically is to turn off four torches in total. So that's the second one. That is the third one. The fourth one is uh, ahead here. Once you turn it off, um, Pyroleptor uh, will spawn. Now just to kill him. After you kill, you will get the Excrete uh, chest. At this point, let's go back to the Wave Rider. We left behind and get out from this place using the Wave Rider. Okay, here we go outside. Now, when you're out, go, keep go. Now, change your direction to left side. There, and stop the wave rider here. You will see on the ground that a small puzzle to do. So, first of all, on right side, take the Oza block. Using a bow character, or you can just go downside, hit the Neona turret, which is probably inside that conch. So, hit the conch three times. Okay. Take it, and this time hit the other one. You have to do this uh, pretty fast. Okay, nice. Come on, Chester will spawn. Look at this common chest here. Just to go toward the south direction, you will find a protected chest by some hillichers. So just to kill the hillichers. And get this uh, remarkable one. Now, you see that uh, at the west direction above the mountain there is a ball, right? That's our next goal. So just a swim. And climb a bit of the mountain. Take the power up from the... Not too much, and then release it. Nice. At this point, is uh, in front of us. This time, charge it, fully charge it, and release it. And a common chest will spawn. Okay. Now, watching toward the uh, south direction, you will find a time trial challenge on that rock. Start it and collect the hydro particles to so go inside the. Uh, my god, he's coming here to us. Just go inside the dinghy. And collect them. This will take a bit. Okay. And nice. Another common chest. Now, going toward the um, uh, south-west uh, direction, you will find this puzzle to do with uh, all these uh, instruments, right? What you have to do is, uh, first of all, interact them, then push the bubble between uh, the first... Uh, oh, oh, because of the enemies. Anyways. Push the bubble between the first and the second one, like this. More closer toward the first one. Okay, so it will shoot the first one first. And then push the other bubble between the third and the fourth one. Yeah. Third and the fourth one. More closer to the third one. Okay, like this. And I just make it, make it explode. One, two, three, four, five. A precious chest to be spoke. Once you took this precious chest, just to kill the enemies behind you to take the protected chest. Okay. Right here. Now keep going toward the east direction and go inside the water. Inside downside, you will find a. Um, uh, a protected chest by some blubber beast. Okay, let's go take it from the jellyfish there at the north direction. So take it because this most is the most powerful one, and just to kill them. 
And uh, yes, we have to kill Blubber Beast this time. Really sad, but Is it for a chest? I mean, you're refusing a chest? That's the Blubber Beast there. Once you kill them, you can take this exquisite chest. At this point, I keep swimming toward the south direction, so just to follow this uh, underwater road. Here you will find uh, the two things, so just to throw a jellyfish and make them explode. Now you need to make them explode at the same time, so just to deploy a jellyfish there and wait. They're coming, they're coming. Around now. You make it explode. Nice. A uh, explode chest will spawn. You can just uh, directly teleport to this teleport waypoint on the left side. And do this time trial challenge behind the teleport waypoint. So take the upgrade, the power up from the octopus. And complete the challenge. Without triggering any explosion. And let's uh, shoot it here in the middle. Okay, like now. One. Again, in the middle. And the two. Excrete. Now, keep going toward the uh, west direction. A bit south, to be honest. There's another temperature challenge above this metal... Uh, yeah, this thingy. This time is collect the hydro particles. So just to go one, two. Okay. <laughs> nice. A remarkable chest. Look at this remarkable chest. Go toward the west direction. Here you will find a protected chest by enemies. But in order to get this chest, actually to spawn this chest, you need to complete the world quest Impromptu Poem of the Crimson Down. Only after you complete that world quest, which you can accept at this location uh, around uh, here, you will see someone inside a cage, basically more yeah, here. Someone inside the cage, you just have to save him, a really, really short quest, it takes you 5 minutes maximum to complete it. And once you complete this world quest, these enemies so here will spawn. And once uh, oh, enemies are spawned, you can just uh, kill them. To take this uh, remarkable chest. Also, keep in mind that uh, uh, the first time you complete the world quest, they will not immediately spawn. You have to teleport away and then come back. Or you can just enter in someone's trail, character trail, and then come back. And the chest will spawn. So, let's take it. You have to teleport to this teleport waypoint uh, below you. This teleport waypoint, you can unlock it by following my guide of um, the shutter, no, the rusty raptor. Or easier way, just to go in above the button, you will find a cannon. Just to answer the questions uh, the maid asks you. Basically, just answer tree, tree, and then uh, the flower. You will be able to control the cannon, and you can shoot to break this bridge. Anyways, the chest will be here once you open the gate. It will only contain Mora. Okay, Mora, really sad. No Prime Gems. Anyways, look at this one, keep going toward the south direction. Okay, go inside the water. Here downside, you already been in this place when uh, when, you, when you were doing the world quest, questioning Melusin and uh, the answering machine. Basically, just to take the power up from the crab. Break the rock here, so you can go inside, and the chest is right here. After you took this chest, we need the same power up, get out. Close to the boat, you will find this swimming, yeah, something is swimming. Just kill it, and the chest will spawn here. Now, swim toward the north direction. And above the mountain, you will find the next challenge to do. 
get the power up from the octopus. Okay, from here, just shoot the ball toward them. So you watch in the middle, when all of them are lined up, you shoot it. And then you have to shoot it to the most far away, so just to point on the correct direction and then release it. Okay, let me line it up better. This is the correct angle. Nice. Okay, this time is correct. Perfectly in the center. Remarkable chest will spawn. If you watch downside at the east direction, you will find the bubble with the four elemental pillars rotating around. What we have to do here is to find the correct timing to make it explode. Let's wait. Okay, now. Nice. Another remarkable chest. Look at this remarkable chest. Let's go take now the chest underground of this small place. So just teleport to this teleport waypoint here. And this time, instead of going out, you we go inside. So behind you. Jump down. Okay. Once you jump down, on bottom side, you will immediately find a protected chest by slimes. So just to kill them. Once you kill... Open the chest, you will also free a Sealy. The Sealy is needed for the next chest, so let's just uh, touch it one more time, it will go downside. I have to find the two more Sealys. One is above there, and one is on the left side, so let's go. It's Sealy on the left side, touch it one time, okay, it's going down. Let's go now to the other one. And for this one, we have two. One in the tube. So using a Hydro character, you just uh, hit this one. Now. now just wait the bubble to line up in the center and you hit this one here. One and the two. So now the Sealy will go back. It's bugged again. Okay, no. Nice. Now touch the other ceiling you just guided it before. And you will be able to unlock this uh, Luxury chest. Once you open this Luxury chest, uh, you can use the scuttle to break this uh, rock up below you. Enter in the current and now just to follow the... Uh, the current. The next chest will spawn once you get out from the current. If you don't use the current, this chest will never spawn. That's why we needed to go from there. In front of you, we will find a protected chest by... Uh, Helichos. Kill them and take it. Now, going toward the north, the east direction, you will find a time trial challenge. That's next. Uh, that's our next goal. Next target. This is collect uh, 12 hydro particles. So let's go inside the thingy. Okay. To shoot us to the most top side. Nice. Common chest. Look at this common chest here, just to go to the island on the opposite uh, side, at the south or east direction, you will find a ball. So let's get the power up from the octopus, go to the circle here. Charge it until it's shaking, point a bit on upstairs, and then shoot it. A prison chest will spawn. Now, jump down from the from this place. Huh? 
next one, and this is the next chest that we're going to take. And with this, we finished with this route also. And your achievement, you should have 93 or 160. Perfect. So now go take a bit of rest because this route was pretty big. And later we continue with the next one. Okay, this is the final route of the first area. So basically the area in this forest. And we're going to start from this teleport waypoint. So just teleport here. Now, watching toward the south direction, you will see on the bottom side a protected chest by some aeronauts. And unlock it. How do you got this one? Just teleport back at the same teleport waypoint, and this time we go at the west direction. Another protected chest, but this time by uh, Hilichers. Okay. Looking this, just to keep to follow the road going toward north direction. Here in the lake, you will find that uh, uh, puzzle with the ball. So kill the enemies around first because that's the way on you. Okay. So now take the power up from the octopus, watching toward the thingy, charge it, and just throw it at the correct moment. Exquisite chest. Now, you have to climb this mountain, you will see a time trial challenge on the top side of it. Okay. Nice. This is collect 30 hydro particles, so just to follow the mountain, nothing hard. Another common chest. Look in this common chest, watch into our north direction, just to jump down. You will find a protected, uh, remarkable chest. Just to kill the enemies. And get it. Now keep going toward the west, uh, east direction. Basically, you have to guide the tree of the mushrooms back at this position, starting with this one at the southwest, just to kill the slimes. Okay, so this one will go back now. Now, go to this one at the east direction, you have to turn off all the torches. Okay. And in the end, this one at the north direction. Which is lit up uh, torches in order of uh, how many broken trees there are close to them. So first one that. Second one is uh, this one. Third one that one. I oh, know. Third one is this one. And in the end uh, that one. Okay. Now just to wait all the. Jellyfish to go back at their location, then come up, come up here, and then you can go inside. Oops. Okay, a precious chest. Look in this precious chest, watching toward the east direction. Downside, you will find another protected chest. This time by Aramids again. Okay. Now, follow the road, you can see on the minimap, going toward the north direction. Just go, now go downside a bit. And here we find another of the puzzle with the bull. So, get the power up from the octopus on the left side. Come here. And you have to basically make this ball go through the two doors. So just start like this, you throw it. Nice. A remarkable chest will spawn. 
Now ignore this enemy, we don't care about it. Him is a Liam. Looks like we've got the north, the west now. Here, this chest is, um, you know, this, do you remember this location? Basically where we did the world request, uh, uh, Crimson Poem, uh, Crimson Down Poem. Yeah. You have to open this door with the dog. And once you open that door, this common chest will spawn. And just take it. As you can see, the dog is coming here, showing you the chest. Anyways, after you took this chest here, go toward the west direction, west a bit north. <laughs> Downside is a protected common chest. This time by two slimes. Okay, get it. And now, keep going toward the west. Above the mountain, you will find a time trial challenge, so just to go up a bit. This is a shooting one. Let's start the challenge, and you have to shoot the thingy. So, one there. And that side. Okay, in the end there. Ah, uh, X with chest will spawn. After you took this X with chest, just to go inside the lake. And uh, dive down. Downside, take the power up from that fish and destroy these two wines. Just to use a normal attack to destroy one and a skill to destroy the other one. We'll open this door just to go deeper. And here you will find uh, another time trial challenge. Take the power up from the jellyfish first and start it. Destroy the uh, pepper fritz. So one there, and this side. Now above you, and X with the chest. You can this. We finally finished with all the chests at the Erinus Forest. It's not a fully percentage because we didn't took the two shrine of that. Which I always show show at the last, um, I mean at the end of the video. So later we're gonna come back to take the two shine of the depth, and you must reach 100%. And if you check your achievement, you should have 105 on 160. Now let's go take a rest, and later we keep go at the mortar region. Next area will be this one. We're going to take all the chests, actually not all the chests, but most of them on the surface to make later the next routes easier. And starting with this teleport waypoint, just teleport here, right above the poison. And once you teleport here, follow the road going toward the northeast direction. Downside, you will find the first puzzle we have to solve. So, first of all, you have to find the power-up of the uh, octopus right here. Take it. Now go inside the building. And uh, let me see. First of all, switch this one. Around here. Then switch this one. So it will point inside the house. Okay, right here. 
So this one will point to that one, lighting it up, and you can finally get the chest. Really simple puzzle. Now, once you took this one, let's just uh, teleport to this teleport waypoint, at the west slopes of Mount Anton Neck, and go toward the east direction. Now, so you will find a protected chest by two, uh, by few batteries. So let's go. Kill the enemies and take the chest. Now, teleport to this teleport waypoint on the right side. And we're going to take the next protected chest at the top direction of the teleport waypoint. Another protected one by two. But actually, three parties. Nice. Ah, precious chest this time. After this precious chest, just to keep go toward the south direction. You will find a Sealy on the mountain, but let's just don't care about the Sealy yet. We go take that to protect the chest in front of us. Nice. Just a common chest. Only after the common chest you can go back to the Sealy and get the Sealy now. Another common chest. Now, if you watch the downside, you will find um, a time trial challenge in the middle of the lake. So, first of all, okay, it will ask you to collect twenty particles. So, fly. Ouch. Careful to the cannons. Okay, nice. First one is done. After the chest, there's another other two challenges, so let's now do the second one, which is collect particles again within 18 seconds. I mean 180 seconds. Let's go. Just remember to keep dodge the cannons. But it's pretty simple to dodge. And second chest also got. This time is a exquisite chest. Now last challenge, I'll try again. Collect 21 particles. Fly. Yeah.
Okay, last the tree. And uh, here we go. Satisfactory novel, blah 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 blah. blah. Crucial chest at this time. Finally. At this point, you can teleport to this teleport waypoint below you. And go toward the southeast. And you will find the time turn challenge shooting one. Right here, start it, which is a shoot the barrels. So one, then two, three, okay, and the four is there. Nice. A chest will spawn there. To open this chest, you have to go toward that small ruin you can see at uh, east direction. Climb to the most top side to take the Pneuna block. And uh, destroy this Ozia thingy on bottom side, which will summon a common chest. Now we can teleport to this teleport waypoint on right side. And go toward the east direction now. Here on this small ruin, you will find a small puzzle. So first of all, take the power up from the octopus. And then let's do this puzzle. First of all, change the direction of this uh, laser. To the center. Basically just rotate it until it's in line up with that one, so they will slowly, slowly Okay, release it around now. It is slowly, slowly charging it, and here we go. This was pretty hard. You need to find the correct timing. Anyways, to can this one, if you keep going toward northeast direction, you will find a protected chest by enemies. Nice. Look in this one. If you go south direction, you will see a temperature challenge. Let's go do it. Start. And this is a collector hydro particles, so just to go. Enter into this portal. X wheel chest will spawn right here. Now, to can this uh, X wheel chest, uh, you have to teleport back at this teleport waypoint right above you and uh, go inside this uh, water cannon you see in front. Which will bring you to this location, and you have to click this one. The ball will go there. Okay. You carry the second level. What you have to do is when this second one is on totally on left side, you hit this one so it will fall. And then that one will okay, hit it again. That one will push it to the bottom side, so you have to summon it again. Okay, let me redo it. It basically start with the every with the gem at the blue. When the second Pillar is all totally on the left side, you click it, okay, now summon it again, to summon the bottom side platform, it will push down, and the, on the second floor it will push down as well, right, like this. Now this is the third level, so this time what you have to do is, first of all, hit this one, which will go downside, then push that one down, hit it again, to make that disappear, and in the end that will push to the other one. Okay, we can get this precious chest now. After we got the precious chest, just get out and go toward the west direction. Here you will find the next puzzle we have to do. Get the power up from the octopus and stay on the ball. Push the ball outside of this door. Which will summon this thingy. Now activate it. 
We will start with this time trial challenge. And open the chest. Now teleport back at this location and we go take the chest at uh, northeast direction, this time on left side, close to the uh, that um, we right the waypoint. We have to climb the pillar on left side to get the Ozia block and destroy the Neona rock. Take it, destroy, common chest. Now keep go toward the east direction. You will see another of the giant puzzle with the octopus thingy. Just go there first. Get the power up from the octopus. And uh, let me see. Go to the other side. Switch this one toward the tower. In the center. Okay, like this. And in the end, just rotate their direction toward each ball. So get the power up here. This one, let me see. Rotate it uh, to that side. Okay, it's charging. Now go to the other one. Just repeat this. Okay, and in the end, go to the last one. Okay. All of them lined up, and this precious chest will spawn. Nice. At this point, I will take this one. Teleport to this teleport waypoint above you, to this island. And at the west direction, you will find this protected chest. You have to kill the enemies below it. Okay. Once you kill, take this uh, remarkable chest and keep going toward the west direction. You will find another small ruin, and this time is a puzzle you have to do. Kill the enemy first, though. After kill, they will move to the correct position. You have to get the power up from the octopus. Change. The, I mean, make it higher. This side. Around here. And make this one higher. Uh, using this one. Like this. So now, when both are charged, the chest will spawn. After this. X with chest, go toward the south direction, you will find a sealy below a tree. Let's guide him. Okay, taking this one, watching toward uh, south, uh, I mean west direction, you will find another puzzle with the octopus, so to get the power up first, kill the enemy on bottom side, I have to kill this uh, one with go on top side, what you have to do is to climb, okay, you need to get the Oza block first from bottom side here. 
Get it, then climb back. Destroy. And after you destroy it, using the power up of the octopus, you have to make it this one go inside a bit. Like this. Go to the other side. This one is pointing there, you have to make it to go higher. Okay, like this. So this one will finally... I guess it's a bit bugged, because why is pointing downside? Let me try to... Yeah, trial and get out. Yeah, now it's fixed. Why it was pointing downside, I don't know, but uh, whatever. As long as it's fixed, it's fine. Alright, let's redo this then. Get the power up uh, here. Make this one go inside. Now make this one go downside a bit. And in the end, the laser will hit that one. Someone in the X with chest. Okay. Now, after this chest here, watching toward uh, east direction, you will find a time trial challenge. This is a fighting one, so prepare to fight. Kill the enemies, and you will get this chest. After this chest, just go toward the east direction. You will find another of the puzzle to do. Okay. And you have to go downside, kill this enemy first, because else will be annoying. Nice. Get the power up from the octopus. And go downside to switch this one toward that ball. Okay, like this. Then go upstairs. You move this one to downside first, because this one takes longer. To the most the bottom side. Okay, then you charge the other one. I just waited to be charged first. Okay. And the exclude chest will finally open. Look in this exclude chest, teleport back to this teleport waypoint. And go toward the east direction this time. You will find another of the puzzle to do. So, get the power up here, kill the enemies first. Okay. Get the power, get the power up. You have to destroy this barrel. Then climb, you have to collect that Mora chest, because if you don't collect, the laser will be blocked. So collect it. And in the end, everything is setting up. So now, uh, go inside here first. Collect this two thingy, put it here, so you can move it. Now using the octopus, you change its... Uh, Direction toward the, no, this one side toward that pillar. Okay. Exquisite chest. After this exquisite chest, just to go to south direction toward that small lake you can see from the minimap. And here, power up from the octopus. And just to kill this uh, giant uh, mud. Once you destroy it, you have to destroy the small one as well. So, one. And go to the other side. And the two. Water will be purified, you can dive down and get directly in the chest. Dive out and keep go toward south direction. Here you will find a time trial challenge. Start, collect 24 particles. Thank you. 
mushroom, I mean jellyfish. Get up, take this portal. It will uh, help you to get the balls automatically, so you don't have to care about them. Here, just to go inside the next jellyfish. Go inside the portal again, here. Aya. Common chest. Now, token this common chest here, just close to you, get, get the power up from the octopus again, and light up this thingy in front of you, this small flower. So pass through the gloom. Really simple chest, by the way. Okay, let's go here. Jump inside. Get up. Okay, just to go to the next uh, jellyfish, and here we go. Keep watching toward downside, you will find the next time trial challenge. So we, we literally have three, uh, three time trial challenges in a row. Now, get it, I mean start it, and enter in the portal. Okay, go, go. Inside the mushroom. Nice. Hey. Bro, ah, what the fuck? <laughs> Can I change the character? No. Let me climb here, bro. Aya, I'm stuck. Alright, let's just teleport. Next and the last of this route, so take the Pneumon block and hit the Flame Machine. And just wait it to bring you to the most top side, to the highest place. Alright, when you reach the top side, enter into the portal, which will bring you to... A place with a boss to fight. Right here. So climb. This reminds me of one of the episodes of Tom and Jerry. With Tom going to the paradise. From the invisible stairs. Okay, Mr. Eliphas. Looks a little chest. Nice. We finished with this route as well. And if you check your achievement, you should have 134 on 160. So go take a bit of rest and we continue with the next route. This is the next route and we're going to take all the chests from the Hortensa, the four different Hortensa. We're going to start from the top side, so teleport to the Statue of the Seven here. And a ride on the west direction, downside you will find a protected chest by villagers. Take it and now teleport to the bottom, bottom side teleport waypoint here. And we're gonna get inside the Hortent. Of course, this is the situation after you completed the world quest um, the, in the wake of Narcissus. I listed in the comment. So once you get in, here you will find a protected chest. So let's just kill the enemies some. You need to get the power up first, maybe. From the squid there. Okay. And then just to kill the enemies. Nice. Once you kill, just take this uh, X-Wheel chest and keep go deeper inside of this place. If you ask me why you have a barrier here, I'm not even going to reply you because you should know. Now. Just got inside here, you will find the one is the Luxor chest we got from completing the world quest here at this place, so let's take it. The next one you have to go downside. You will see that there is a common chest, but we don't take this common chest first. We have to go upstairs. On right side you will find the Pneuna block. Take this Pneuna block, then go up. And hit this one 
Okay, the turret of Ozia. Now take the Ozia block on the other side. Zoom up and hit this other tower. Okay. Complete this two, you will get a common chest here. Take it. Now, get a power up from that fish. And this time we take the chest downside here. So just cut the wine like this. X with chest. Now, last one remaining in this room is get out here first, go to the second floor, go inside this barrier, go inside the looking glass, and get out from the other looking glass. Right in front of you. <laughs> that one. And here is the other side, so the last chest from this place. Now we can go to the other Ortant. Or the, the, this one is, which is called the Orton of Wishes. So teleport to this level waypoint inside the caves. And right in front of you will find the first chest, which is a protected chest. For yeah. healishers getting murdered by the machine. We just revenge them. <laughs> Token this one, go deeper. Downside <laughs> here, on left side, you will find the looking glass. So get the power up from the octopus here. Then. Rise this one now. Yeah. Rotate this one to the center. <laughs> Drop it a bit. Okay, so you can see now this one is pointing inside the mirror. And uh, through the mirror, the laser will go outside. So, as just I said before, you can you could just climb from here. Okay. But you still need to unlock the Looking Glass first, and to unlock it you need to complete the world quest, the Book of Esoteric Revelation, which is the quest here, at the Melusin village. Anyways, is everything typed on the requirement, by the way? Drop down a bit of this, up. I mean increase a bit of this up power. Mm -hmm. Increase a bit more. It will light up that one. Bottom side, oh yeah, we forgot to this one. You, you need to also increase this one. So rise it. Okay. Now all three are lighted. So when all three are lighted, the chest will spawn. It's a common chest. Nice. Token this common chest just to go downside to the second floor. Underground second floor. Okay, go downside from here. You will find this place with the clock. To climb here, this uh, pillar on left side, you have to get to this moving gear. Okay, get above it, wait the moving gear to get up, and then it will summon a uh, air current. Nice. Air current will bring you to the oh. Air current will bring you to the top side with a special chest. Just open it. You will get this. Look at this one. Just. Uh, Go downside, and this is the chest we got by completing the world quest here. Nice. From that room, uh, during the world quest, we guided a Sili to go downside. As you can see, here is a shrine with the Sili already guided, and the Sili will give you this chest here. So let's go take it. After this one, go downside. You have to get out from this way. Okay, now just to go uh, call the elevator first, because the elevator is not here. And then go to the second floor. Go up. Here we find the cave. Just go inside the cave. And uh, there's a chest inside that barrier. And you need to go through the looking glass again. So go. And get out from the other gas. Right here. On the left side, remarkable chest. The kid and the bear will also disappear. And with the here, we also done from the Ortant of Wishes. Next one, we're going to this Ortant here on bottom left corner, Ortant of Souls. 
So teleport to this teleport waypoint. Okay, here, let's just go. First of all, you have to uh, get that, uh, get the power-up from the squid, get this uh, thingy, put it here on the cannon, and just uh, charge it. So by doing this, you will conquer the cannon, and uh, the cannon will not uh, hit you anymore. Then just uh, operate on the cannon, destroy the rock on bottom left corner, which you already destroyed during the world quest. Okay, just like this. Like that. Once you destroy the cannon, uh, the rock there, the chest will spawn, but that's not uh, our first chest. The first one is uh, this one at the bottom side uh, here, which requires to get the power up from that fish there. Cut the wines. Here. Get the Ozia block here. Hit that one to make it uh, okay green. Then uh, uh, dive up. On the left side above, you will find the Ozia block. I mean, the Pluna block. Let's get the Pluna block. And then hit the other one. Nice. When both of them are green, you can take the Exude chest. And now we go take the other chest we just got by destroying the rock. Now, go to this, go inside the Hortant. Here we go. And here is the situation after you complete the world quest. So, bottom side, you will find the unlocked chest here. Then, go inside, you will find the chest we got from the world quest after. At the end, basically. And in the end, get down from this place. Okay, go down. And this chest will spawn also during the progress progression of the world quest. Nice. And with this Ortant of Soul, we are also finished. Last Ortant remain, which is the Ortant of Persona. I have to teleport to this teleport waypoint. Go inside. Okay. We need to reach the last room, by the way. Let's go a bit faster. Okay, in this place. Oh, you can go from this side. Also here, this is the situation after you completed the world quest, so you will have a chest unlocked by the quest. Then, if you go downside, you will also have this chest unlocked by the progression of the quest. And then you can go inside this place, which is a chest you get also from the World of Quest after you defeat the three, wave, three waves of enemies. And you should have, because without defeating the enemies, you cannot progress. And here on the bookshelf, you can take this special key. So this is the room to the, to the other place we just took the other chest. Anyways, once you took this key, let's go back to the first floor. You can open this door at uh, south uh, direction. So let's open. Go inside. Okay. And uh, here you will find a uh, uh, luxury chest. Perfect. So with this uh, Ortant of Persona, we also finished. If you check your achievement, you should have 155 chests. Let's check. 155 on 160. Go take a rest, and we continue later with the next route. Next route is this one, and we're going to take a majority of the chests from the underwater. The rest are just in the other section on the right side, but we focus on this side first. Total 39 chests, so pay attention to where I'm going, because the route is pretty complicated. We're gonna start from this teleport waypoint here, this one. So let's just go. First one I'm going to take is right behind us, is this one uh, puzzle chest. So, how to do this? 
First of all, you have to go inside from the other door, which is this one. Destroy this rock first. Hmm. Just to climb to a high place and with a plunge attack you destroy it. Anyways, after destroyed it, uh, let me see outside. So, get to this one here, put it the downside on this device. First one. Then the next one, uh, let me see where it is. You can just wait it to respawn, pick it up again. And uh, here we go, now we have two of them. Get the power up from the octopus. Where it is, let me see. Yeah. And then just to charge it. So the water level will go up. Nice. At this point, we can go outside the here. This is the starting point. We have to increase a bit of the level. Up this one. A bit more. Okay. Now we can go downside. You can see that this one is pointing there. Now, use this one to make it go a bit upstairs. So it's charged. Now go up. And here we go. Pressure chest got. Look in this pressure chest, watching towards our direction. We'll find this rock, so get the power up from the crab and the sword. Here is a common uh, x wheel chest hidden. Now go toward the west direction, you will see a protected chest by some enemies. Get the power up from the jellyfish because it's the strongest one. Okay. And just kill these enemies. Nice. There's still one more behind there. You can this one uh, just uh, fly up, I think mean, glide up. Here is the next one. You have to basically go inside, uh, open the door first. So get the power up from the jellyfish, go above uh, here. You can see you can just enter from here, throw a jellyfish, make it explode. Make it explode. Okay. You will see that you can get the Oza block. Now get it, go outside. Hit that uh, turret. Now get the power up from the squid and rotate this um, laser. When it's pointing outside, you can get the chest. So just stay here and wait. X squid chest. You can use X squid chest just to get the power up again from the jellyfish. And go downside, you will see a protected chest by some enemies. Let's go kill them. Nice. Get it, and in front of you, on the ruin, you will see that another challenge is here. So you need to get the power up from the octopus. Come here. Reduce the level of this turret here. From the other side. A bit more. Like this. Now go behind the ball. Just to charge it. Watching toward the two rings. And throw it. Another exquisite chest. Now, go toward the northeast direction, most on east. You will find another protected chest. So, is there a jellyfish? No. Never mind, we just go there with the squid. Kill them. Okay. X squid chest got. At this point, you have to go under the tower here, below it. This is the situation after you did the world quest, so the tower will be bottom side. And if you already, if you don't see any chest here, means you already took it when the tower was on the surface. 
If you have it, it means you didn't, so now you can take it. Um, better if you get the power up from the jellyfish outside there. Because uh, it's the best at fighting. Okay, now we can go. Nice. You will get this exquisite chest. Took this exquisite chest just to go to the south direction. Here you will find a chest there. This chest was one of the protected chests before the tower went down, like on the island. If you don't have, means you already took it. Same for this one. Anyways, to can this one just go downside. There's another common chest, which is the same logic. So if you don't see it, it means you already took it. Nice. Now, to can this one keep go to our north direction. Here you will see a protect uh, I mean um crystal chest. This chest will spawn after the tower uh the tower falls down the ground uh, in the water. Just take it. And now glide up. I mean not glide up, uh zoom up. We have to do the puzzle inside the second floor of the tower. Same here, if you don't see it, it means you already completed it. Same here, if you don't see it, it means you already took it. This one. So get the power up from the octopus. Go to the second, a bit, a bit higher, to get this bubble to the downside. Just push it toward the bottom side. You have to unite it to the other bubble. So just, uh, okay, make it a bigger bubble. And now just to make it explode. Hit it. By doing this, you will light up all the four instruments together to unlock this chest. Nice. Took in this chest here, go toward the west direction. Downside, you will find a Sealy. That's our next target. Let's guide this Sealy. So my enemies will spawn just to kill them. And uh, here we go. This is the shrine. Okay. After this a silly chest, just to go toward the west direction, toward the ruin. Here above. Get the power up from the octopus. And you have to play these two instruments. But first of all, you have to move this one down, the other one. Okay. When it's down, just make it play. Really simple chest. Okay. Now go toward north direction from here to the next ruin. The first chest here is a protected chest by enemies. Said, oh yeah, we have the lollipop, I mean, uh, jellyfish there. 
Just look at the jellyfish, upgrade, and kill his enemies. Where is the next stone? There. Alright. Look at this one. Go a bit uh, higher. Here you will find uh, a puzzle chest. How do this puzzle chest? We need to get the power up from the squid first, the octopus. And basically, by rotating this one, you can see the water level will go up and go down from left side as well. Just to make it like this. You need to... Oops. Here you need to first of all... Okay, get the power up. Okay, we still have it. From here, just touch that one, make it go downside. That is the limit, it looks like. Here as well, make it go downside. Okay, that one is fine, don't touch it. So, we need to put up a bit of the water on the other side. Okay, just like this. And by doing this, a pressure chest will spawn. Look at this pressure chest. Go toward... North direction, northeast direction, downside you will find a protected chest. Let's uh, fight them. Okay. Nice. Take this chest here, and you have to go on north side a bit. I mean, uh, northwest. Here you will find a Sealy. I trapped the Sealy, so kill these enemies. Then get the Sealy back. Okay, next Cecilia has a downside here in front of the door. We already saw it before. And the last one is at that direction, inside that conch. Pressure chest unlocked. Now, after this pressure chest, keep go toward the west direction, above here, I guess you already saw it before. This is a puzzle chest with the uh, ball. You need to get the power up from the octopus, from that side. Okay. And then just to throw the ball, uh, you need to reduce the level of this one first. Okay, and then throw the ball toward the circle. You will get this x wheel chest. After this one, keep go toward north direction. Here you need to take the power up from the jellyfish. Throw a jellyfish in the center here, and just to make all the three together explode. Okay. After this one, keep go toward north direction. 
here is the next puzzle we have to do. Um, just interact with the conch. Activate conch. It will reveal you position of something you can find. For example, here's one. Then the next one is probably there. Okay, in fact, get the two items, put it here on the device. Get the power up from the octopus. And what you have to do is first of all, if you do this, they will go. So just touch that gem, then increase. Increase, increase. Okay. At this point, hit the gem again. Then increase again. That one is fine. Now close the gem and move a bit on right, uh, left side. Okay. So both together are to the correct position. Oh no, actually no, not yet. Around here for the first one. Then open the gem again. And then both moving it a bit. Okay. Now the chest will spawn. Took this chest here, let's uh, take the power up from the Blubber Beast and go toward the west direction. There is a protected chest by Blubber Beast. So let's just uh, kill them. Now, took this one, keep go toward northeast. Get the power up from the octopus. And stay in the circle here, watching toward the window, and you throw it. Oh yeah, you need, you need to get inside first. Get inside from the window, click on that switch, which will open the barrier, and then you can come here. Nice. Throw it. Exclude chest. Now, teleport to the Statue of the Seven here. Watching toward the southeast, downside the door is a time trial challenge. Just to start this challenge and collect the hydro particles. I'll get inside the portal. And you will get this x chest. Look in this chest here, right in front of you, you will find this barrier, and inside there's an enemy. Let's kill this enemy first. Okay, so basically here you have to get inside, get inside, um, outside here first, and get the Leona block inside here. Hit that rock to get the two devices. Put the device here. Get the power up from the octopus. Now change the water level. Okay. A bit higher. Nice. Basically just to the most top side. And uh, your chest will spawn. A ah, precious chest. After this pursuit chest, I just teleport to the teleport waypoint here, in front of the... Uh, yeah, this place. Downside you will find this two tower with Ozia and Neona. Get this Ozia block to change the Neona one. And now we need to search for the Ozia block, which it probably is downside here, in fact. Get it. Get up. And hit it. X-Wheel chest. 
Please exit the chest, go toward the south east direction. Downside there is a protected chest. Get the power up this time by the jellyfish and just kill them. Okay. After this one, downside there's another protected uh, actually above there's another protected chest. Here. So let's kill these enemies first. Nice. After this downside, you will find a temporal challenge close to that um, purple flower. Start it, collect the chest within 20 seconds, so just uh, go. Okay, let's dive toward it. And here we go. Look at this, uh, going toward the east direction. You will find this puzzle to do, which is um, play with the instruments. For this one, uh, let me see. What you have to do is get the power up from the boost here. Move this one upper. Make the bubble explode. And then hit that one. Exclude chest. Take this chest, and this time we have to go downside. So dive downside. You will see this puzzle to do here. This puzzle, this time you have to move mm, this one here. Fully, fully, so both of them are touching the ceiling. Okay, when both are touching the ceiling, you just move them downside together. So they will be at the same position, and we can put them at the lock. Okay, like this. Too much. Okay, like this. Chest will spawn. After these two chests, just dive down. You will find uh, one time trail. Uh, yeah, one time trail challenge downside there. That one. Close to two octopus. Start it and go. This challenge will make you do a circle around the tower, so you will go back at the same position later. And uh, here it is, precious chest. Look at this chest here, if you dive up, you will find another time trial challenge. This time is close to the surface, so you need to dive a lot upper. Okay, start it, open the chest within 60 seconds.
Precious. Token is Precious Chest. The downside here you will find a puzzle to do. Okay, this one. So once you're here on left side, let's kill the enemies. You still have the power up from the okay octopus. Nice. After kill, this thingy will go outside. So what you have to do here is, first of all, close this one, so make it blue. Then make it go, just like this. Around here, you can release it. So both will go downside. Nice. Chest respawn, really simple. Took this chest here, just to go toward the east direction. Northeast. Get the power up from the jellyfish. Let's just keep going. Around here, there's a conch. On the conch, and there's a chest. But before the chest, downside, there's a puzzle to do. Which is, there are two of the eels. Just make them explode at the same moment, kill them. And the chest will respawn. So take this chest first. Then go up. We take the other chest which is inside that conch. At this point, to go toward the south direction, you will find a protected chest by some enemies. Kill them. Okay. After this, go to south. Uh, after this one, go to east direction. You will find this ruin here. Uh, here, get it. Go back again. Let's cut. One, two, and three. Get this. Put it here. Get the octopus grade, and now just re reduce the water level. After you fully reduce the water level, you can go inside. Uh -huh. And now just light up all the four elemental pillars. Okay, then let's go. Rush. First one. Then get up. Second one. Okay. Third one is above. Third one, fourth one, climb, and here we go. The chest will spawn. Okay, after you get this chest, you have to go toward the south direction, right here. There's another puzzle to do. You still have... Uh, no, you don't have, so they, let's take the gain, the power-up from the octopus. Okay, and go back here. That is the laser. This one is pointing out. So you need to decrease the level of this one. Increase, actually. Until you see a laser coming out. Then... Move this one. Toward the right side. Until around here. Okay. That one will light up that one. And in the end, you can unlock this precious chest. We finished with this route, guys. And if you check your achievement, you should have 194. 194. Nice, perfect. Now, go take a bit of rest, and we continue later with the next route. Alright guys, uh, finally the last route, which is uh, this zone of the fountain, 4.2, and we're gonna start from this teleport waypoint, so just teleport here, and then go toward so um, southwest direction, that broken boat you see at the end of this road. Here, first of all, you need to get the power-up from the jellyfish, 
then uh, go inside here and just uh, throw a bomb inside. Make it explode. By doing this, you will be able to get this exquisite chest. Now teleport back at the teleport waypoint. And this time we go at the um, north direction. So follow this road here. Downside, you will find a protected chest. So with the same power up we got, just kill them. There's another blubber beast. Look at this chest. It's faster if you teleport back at the teleport waypoint, and this time we go at the east direction, northeast. Another protected chest, so you still have the power up from the jellyfish. Let's kill them. Okay. Take it and keep go toward north. On this field, you will find like a swimming hill, so just kill that. Yeah, there are two of them, so you have to kill both together. Actually, three of them. There are three hills, so just put the. Oh. Okay, so just kill these two together. After you kill them, a common chest will spawn. Now, take this common chest and keep follow the road going toward north direction. You will see another protected chest, this time by crabs. Throw a jellyfish, make it explode. Here, kill. Took this, keep going toward the north direction. You will find another protected chest, this time is on the surface. And there are two of the seahorse. Kill and take it. Nice. Look at this chest here. Go back inside the water, going toward the northeast. As you can already see the seal of a, pro of a protected chest this time. Again, you have to kill enemies. On this, ro on this route, you will find a lot of the protected chests. By the way, kill. Damn, yeah, I am killing all his uh, children and he's still sleeping. Like he gives. Don't give a fuck about anything. Come bruh. Alright, take this one. Now. And then go toward the northwest direction. You will find another protected chest here. This time by Seahorse. Nice. Another exquisite chest. After I took this chest, let's go back okay, on the road here. From left side. Go downside and you will find uh, this place here. You need to get the power up from the catfish. One. Cut these vines together. So stay here, aim in the middle, find the timing and hit. Now you need to get the power up from the octopus on the left side here. Now aiming toward that one. You release it at the correct moment. A uh, X-Wheel chest will spawn. After this chest here, just take back the power up from the catfish. Above you, you will find this uh, uh, Neona block. So just cut the vines to free it. Take it now. Take it. Now go in front of you. Go inside this small gate. And with the Neona block, you hit and destroy this one. You will get the x chest. Now, token this x chest. Go out. Now, fly up. Here above, there is a time trial challenge. So start it and just hit all the things within three attempts. Stay in line. Okay. Like this. And in the end, here. X build chest. And with this one, guys, we finished with this route as well. If you check your achievement, you should have 205. Yes. We missing last two. Last two are the Shrine of the Dead. So they are basically one here and one here. But we are missing the keys. How do you get the keys? First of all, if you follow my guide or if you collect by yourself the Oculus, just give worship it to the Statue of the Seven to get one of the keys at level 8. Level 6? No, level 7, sorry. Okay, as you can see, Fontaine Shrine of the Depth Key. The next one is at the Fontaine of Lucin. So with all the chests we opened till now, we should have enough uh, digils 
Hydro Sigil so to give it to the Fontaine and get the reward. So just a warship, overall. And from the rewards, level 31, 32, 33, 4, 35, 36, 37, 38 is the level where we can get the E. Let's go to the first shrine of depth, this one. So just teleport to this level waypoint or this one and go to the upstairs of the mountain. Right there. So this is the first one, also if you check the percentage, from the Morty region we already reached 100. Now 8% missing because we didn't take any of the, any of the shrine. Let's open it. Boom. Looks to the chest with 40 prime gems. And from 92 we reached 97, literally 5%. Now let's go take the other one and we can reach 100%. Is at the top side of this mountain. So let me just use Yelan. This is not during the chest guide. I don't believe someone will say, Oh my god, Kyo, you're using Yelan! You're going too fast! Bad guide! Dislike and unsubscribe! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck I'm doing? So yeah, here you will find it. Okay, let's open it as well. Another 40 prime gems and the 10 sieges. Perfect. 100% on both regions, and we took all the chests. If you check your achievement, together with the Shrine of the Depths, you should get in total of 207, which is the correct number. So that's it, guys. Hope this video helped you to collect all the chests from the 4.2. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!